Alright, D-Batch, we hit the button if you joined. D-Batch! Oh, shit. Is he here? Yeah, he's here. Oh, my God. We're so honored to have D-Batch oh! here. Only a few minutes this after. about delivering great exclusive <laughs> games for you that ship on platforms where Game Pass is. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Phil joins us at the very beginning of every single show, guys. And uh, so do you. Thanks for uh, hitting us up, joining us on... Real Deal Xbox Podcast every single Tuesday on this channel, 7 p.m. Central, God's time. And, of course, 8 p.m. Eastern, where those heathens live. I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, again, thanks for joining us at the like button. Maybe tell a buddy or two as we do move into uh, some shout-outs, some topics. We have some awesome topics. Should be a fun show with some really, really good-looking streamed at 1080p limited bitrate Forza Horizon 4 on the X or 5, 4. I'm going back to 4. Fuck 5. This is on the Xbox Series X. Looks amazing. And uh, you'll notice I'm getting warmed up a lot in this guy. Yeah, I ain't played it in a few weeks since we did the Forza reviews. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, still so much fun, Fonz. You need to put some time in this game. But speaking of Fonz, uh, another week, brother. Another show. How you been? You know what? Speaking about this game, uh, a friend of mine sent me a video about uh, Forza Horizon 5. And, and uh, man, there is a, uh, a, a, a... I won't say a cheat, but there's some kind of glitch that he did, and uh, he did it. He did it over. He gave and over him a girlfriend. Just kept getting money, more money, and more money, and more money. And I was looking at him, going, "You're cheating, man! Stop!" But anyway, <laughs> yeah, there is there is uh, something there that's really messed up um, that they need to fix because people are, you know, t abusing it. I'm sure because mm. he's not a very bright guy, and he figured it out. So I'm sure other guys out there are using it. But anyway, it's Tuesday. It's RDX. Uh, me... We've got Everborn Saga. I'm ready. <laughs> we do, we do. I'll get to Everborn. Uh, big shout out to Face23 BKNY. I, th I think it's Brooklyn, New York. I'm not sure. $20 Super Chase says, did you guys see the new weird video of Mark Cerny talking about the PlayStation 5? I actually did. Nope. I actually did see that. And he said, Smart Shift robs us of our performance on the GPU or CPU side. You can go back and quote that. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, I do got to also give a shout out again, everyone in the chat. Thanks for showing up. You guys power the show, uh, share it out, help us out a little bit. We do appreciate it. As you guys are playing Forza Horizon 5, Halo Infinite multiplayer, which is fire as fuck. And of course, uh, we've got D Batch joining us a little late. How you been? I'm good, man. I had some login <laughs> issues, but, but I'm here. Uh, a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm still on a high from last week. And I got to say that last week I ended the show stating that Microsoft they didn't let any real customers get any purchases of Xbox Series <laughs> X last week. It was all bots, and it was entirely bots. I have to say they did redeem themselves. Uh, later on in the week, they actually dropped exclusively on the Xbox Series, well, not just a series, I guess, any Xbox console. If you had access to the store, uh, you were able to order uh, Xbox Series X, and I, I thought that was excellent. Uh, you weren't able to get on the website, and that actually deters bots because you need to have an Xbox in order to order it. So I actually ended up ordering one for one of my followers. And uh, scalping it immediately? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, one of my followers here in Toronto, shout out to Punty. Uh, this guy, is he's, he's, he watches the show regularly. Mm. Uh, he, he was looking for a console for a year, man. A year he's been trying to find a console. And I found him in one of my postings. You know, he's like, yeah, I'm just, I've been looking for a year. I don't know. For some reason, I just, I really want to get this guy a console. So I got him one. I delivered it to him yesterday. The guy's like, the happiest guy in the world and, and i gotta say once again shout out to microsoft for actually dropping those and they also went a little bit further uh, i guess they're seeing the frustration from gamers trying to purchase this console they actually sent out emails to specific people uh where they were able to click on the link and like so they didn't have to worry about it going out of stock they were able to click on the link order an xbox order a game and a controller hmm. and get it delivered to their doorstep so microsoft is actually doing something now hmm. on their own sites to uh, deliver Series X, and I think that's a good thing. But let's get on with the show. Sorry, I just wanted to throw that no, out there. No, that's awesome because I've gotten a lot of uh, messages and, and, and people in the chat saying, Microsoft, why aren't they doing something about this? This is cool because, well, a year later, they're finally doing something about this. So uh, check your emails. If you're an Xbox fan, you're on an Xbox regularly, you might have got an email saying, hey, do you want a Series X? And uh, that's awesome. By the way, big shout out to the Moz in the chat. Leave a pop of this is him and I playing multiplayer and Horizon 5 having a blast. And uh, <laughs> we got some pretty funny races here. Uh, We've also got uh, Zalker87, Brother Haven. Good, man. Glad to be here. You know, it's holiday week. You know, some Thanksgiving. We're going to get some turkey later in the week, uh, some <laughs> football games. 
it's gonna be good so we have some topics to talk about here i think that there's some things that are, it's gonna be great we had the event last week and a couple of other things coming out so yeah i hope it's a nice little chill kind of holiday week podcast hell yeah hell yeah and then last but not least we've got our guest everborn saga i've done a show with you before on i do believe boomsticks channel uh should have him sorry, on sometime sorry. here soon uh but uh how have you been man welcome to the show and we say fuck I, hey so do i <laughs> fuck that Bullshit. all right well how you been man welcome to the show <laughs> no i'm good i'm good i'm good this is like a one of the bucket list items of mine I, I i i don't know if i've told you this story personally but i um had taken like five years off of gaming um Uh-oh. and yeah I, like i was reinventing my life going back to school all that mm-hmm. fun stuff and up until up in the lead up of the new councils coming out, it was like literally your videos that sort of got me back into gaming. So like to be uh, on RDX is, is, is a little bit of a big deal for me. So that's uh, crazy, man. I appreciate man. being here. You know, I, I appreciate that. But I'm still thinking about how you call councils councils. <laughs> Jedi I'm, I, I'm fucking with you man uh yeah thank you very much i appreciate that man um and you know hey chat say what's up to everyone saga welcome to the show as we do have a lot of a lot of good topics and again man thanks for joining us we do appreciate you for jumping on here and having a good time with us uh he said nothing so i'll move forward i'm gonna give some shout outs to the patrons uh we do have uh <laughs> ruben almighty we've also got uh, terrific straight G1 G11. We've got Dave Incubus, Ricky Falan, Fault Lines, Fault Lines, not Fault Lines Z, Fault Lines. Shout out to him. Not Silic, Bad Boy Live, Achievement, Nano Polymath, Zordon Costanza, KY Bob, Goose 8402, Strike, Khalifa, Assassin Lupu's in the chat. I, I played some gears with her earlier. What's up, Born, Lupa? Born Object, Gab, Quiz, Tail, John Blue, Vec Boss, Devator X, as well as Real Deal Neil, Suicide King, Tasis Genie, Michael Bowen, Gerald McAvia, All Might, Dark CMF, and Alfonso Hogan. If I missed you, if you're on the, the shout out tier, please message me. But I don't think I did. Uh, so after about a year uh-huh. or so, uh, did the guy hit you up in a DM and say, it's fault lines, not fault lines. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what happened. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet. Hey, uh, mm-hmm. you know what? Shout out to fault lines again, because he actually did do that. And he was really cool about it. So uh, do appreciate him, man. Uh, Halo Infinite previews and thoughts. Uh, we, we I, I released a video on this, right? I played, I beaten the game already. Uh, oh, really? and I can't say anything about that, but I can kind of reiterate if the chat has any questions. If you didn't see my pre- Halo preview video where I talked about what I'm allowed to talk about right now, um, you know, I can kind of reiterate and maybe on some things that here and there, but right now I want to focus on to start with, uh, people attacking the game first and foremost, because there are microtransactions in the game. Apparently it, it'll cost you a thousand dollars to get everything in the game, right? Now, True or false, funds really? Is this a, is this a damn free to play game? Do they do this on games that, for one, cost full price, then have microtransactions like this? And secondly, yeah, did they do this with any Sony games that have microtransactions? Look, I, I I appreciate people out there like um, you know even some people I consider a friend were complaining about this, and I'm like, um, dude, free to play. What do you not understand about free to play? He's like, but it costs a thousand dollars. Anybody can play this game. You can earn things within game. Sure, is progression uh, progression slow? Yeah, but you know what? Um, it's free to play. That's the bottom line. They're going to make money somehow through this game. Uh, again, this is a big multiplayer game. Anybody can play it inside, outside of Game Pass. It doesn't matter who cares if there's some microtransactions and something like this you know you, people here know that i'm a, a staunch uh mm-hmm. i'm against uh, microtransactions uh, you know but when it's a free-to-play game you can't really complain man and, if, and if two people, people for this i'd get it I'd people get it. like uh red dragon you know coming out and specifically bitching about this game oh jesus knowing that, that it's about sorry chad Xbox. i'm sorry Who i haven't cares? mentioned red dragon here because i know that it, it makes everyone's night worse but long story short, when you're talking about a free-to-play game, when you're talking about the fact that they don't do this with other games that aren't free-to-play, they focus they specifically on Xbox, and you know we all know thousands why. thousands of dollars it costs to get everything inside Fortnite? Yeah. Please. Yeah. What, 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 about, what about some of the Sony games? It's, it's a much higher amount. First of all, it's fucking cosmetic. So you're not forced to get it. It is cosmetic. Facts? So I don't understand. If you want to get it, get it. If you don't want to get it, don't get it. It's not really going to change 
the experience of the the game itself is just going to change the way that you fucking look and like dealer and like everybody said on this podcast many games have this so I, I, honestly i'm just tired of these guys just always with the negative nancy shit listen mm-hmm. the, the series x right now is at an all-time high i am seeing posts of guys that have playstations that got an xbox and they were like diehard playstation guys and the playstation guys are mad at them like you're a traitor why are you getting the (laughs) xbox it's like 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 like, what are we doing here i'm seeing guys trading their playstation 5s for xbox series x halo editions i'm seeing all kinds of crazy stuff right now microsoft is on top of the world they got the best exclusives this holiday season Forza is 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 a high rated game. Halo is like number one on Steam, number two on Steam, whatever. It's it's higher than Battlefield. That that I know. Um, it, it, it's it's trending. Everybody's playing the game. Everybody's loving the game. And you have these negative guys that come in that just have to spew nonsense. Like if you don't like the game, play on your PlayStation. I don't understand. You have all this time to be on Twitter. Where where are you playing the games? Like what's going on here? Like. It is what it is. Microsoft is king right now. You guys will have next holiday season to contend again. Like it is what it is. Yeah. You know what it this is. is this is this is bad. I'm sorry. This is bad. You guys are damage controlling. This thousand oh, dollar thing is bullshit. <laughs> all right. You guys are damage controlling. Whenever I walk into a GameStop, I'm like, hey, it's, it's free to look, but I have to, but I have to buy this shit. What? What does that mean? I don't. I don't. This is stupid. What do you mean I have to buy this? Is this yeah. a storefront? Like what? What do you mean? Listen, and there's I don't, a bunch of arrows pointing to that one product. Like fuck this thing. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what yeah, we're like, seeing for. Like listen, there's games where like like Shadow of War had a problem with this, right? Where the microtransactions got in the way. Completely of leveling, different though. Like completely, exactly. And that game cost sixty bucks. You know we had Battlefront. This is a free to play game. It's a multiplayer game that again, like you said, it's 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 cosmetic. Like who gives a shit? I think I've only bought in like one cosmetic, which was the two dollar Batmobile in Rocket League. Like that's it. Like unless <laughs> you really care about like how you look and everything, like, yeah, go buy it. Like and most of the people that I know buy cosmetics don't give a flying fuck. They'll buy whatever they want because they can afford it. Like mm. that's just what they tell me. They're like, if I couldn't afford it, then I'll just play for free. Like, but since I can, I kind of want to get this. And it's like, all right. Well, it's, it's a testament to, you know, maybe people should look at it a little bit more like this. I've never been for microtransactions either. But at the end of the day, primarily, that is for games that are also of some kind of cost, right? You can play this for free, and it's also not pay to win. It's cosmetic stuff. Whether or not you can yep. unlock it through the game or, or some of it through the game or none of it through the game, uh, at the end of the day, it's cosmetic stuff. And if something is of high quality, which is what I'm getting to, People don't mind throwing five, ten bucks uh, to a product. You know, they don't. Well, That's why I bought I a Pegasus don't, that don't fly I, I in think, Odyssey because it was a great I product. Think, I think a, a a part of it is um, it's literally the same people every time, and you 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 can mix and match whatever the complaint is. <laughs> it is it just falls down to you know Halo bad or 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 Xbox bad, right? So so this is the complaint of the day. It'll be another thing with with like grass or, or chasing around, you know, deer or whatever in there. Right. What? They, they're <laughs> right. They are literally just looking for something bad to say. And it's always the same repeat offenders. And so before the multiplayer was playable, they were all saying halo was terrible. Right. But then it was undeniable because everybody could play it. And so when that was undeniable, then they say, Oh, the campaign's coming in hot. And now that everyone is uh, getting hands-on time with the comp- with the campaign, and by and large, a lot of people have very good things to say about it. Now they have to say, "Well, okay, microtransactions are are a thing that apparently were just created now for Halo, and we've never heard of these things before." So, I don't. It, you have to look at who these things are coming from sometime, and I really. I don't put much stock when it's when it's these repeat offenders, like you said, uh, D bats, like. D- the, they're just looking for a negative thread and they're going to read everything and sort of mm-hmm. take it to this five alarm fire for any little thing. And you can't really pay attention to those guys because it's it, it, it boils down to something, I think, deeper than 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 what they're saying. They mm. just need a reason to be upset. It's just boring. Like it is like, I'm sorry, like this console shit is just like the whole <laughs> war and people attacking every little thing that xbox does or attacking every little thing that sony does is just boring and uh, i mean we can't attack sony because they haven't done shit in months <laughs> they haven't said anything like right like so it's they like it's like 
Like they did, and Xbox has been fucking dominating. Like they really have since like July, August, and even before that, the E3 show. Like it's just been nonstop, and it started with like MLB the Show, and I remember that, and people were like, Ugh, like losing their shit. Like that, it's just like whatever, man. Enjoy it. Halo's killing it right now. So many people are playing it. Everybody I know wants to play it. Like every single night. Like it's there's no other game people are talking about. Yeah, there are a lot of people on Halo on my friends list. Like every it night, really and, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. Tony Bryant, by the way, says, "Glad to be here, live dealer. We got to get together on Halo." <laughs> see, 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 exactly. He says, "P.S. P.S. I hate your driver tire. You're going to see why in this footage. You you do hate my driver tire. I've trained it well." Uh, Dark CMF. He says, "Happy Thanksgiving, RDX." Happy Thanksgiving, chat. Uh, hit the like button. Yeah, shout out to everybody here. Hit the like button if you haven't. The blue one. Shout out to him. I was talking to him at a party recently with Ask Play Gaming. He does have a super sticker of a a fat guy flying through the air. I don't know what that is, but thank you so much, sir. Ten dollars super chat. Then we got OG Gamer. He says, "What do you guys think about Paul Blart, the mall cop, playing <laughs> playing playing Spider Man in the new exclusive PlayStation <laughs> DLC for Avengers?" <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal? What is the deal with this? Uh, oh, okay, can can yo. we talk about that for a second? I don't know what he's talking about. If you read the article, right when they when they because there's no there's no story content other than some audio logs for. And I remember like a year ago or, or a little bit more when everybody was going crazy and super upset, like oh my god, Sony is uh, locking down the Spider Man character. If we knew back then, this is what uh, <laughs> everybody was crying about, but. The thing, if you look at what uh, the 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 lead over at Crystal Dynamics said, uh, I don't know if you guys read that that article, but he was basically saying um, we put our efforts into game into content that everyone can enjoy, <laughs> and it was like this is like uh, I'm going to quote uh, my good buddy Xbox University, but like it's like before the Microsoft check cleared and after the Microsoft check cleared, it's like like. That line about they basically said we put no effort into this because it was a deal. It shows, right? That was basically out of their hands, and and they said at the same time we're releasing Claws Invasion that everyone can play. So I don't know the the wording on that that felt like it was almost like a retribution from when Square Enix threw him under the bus a couple of weeks ago. I don't don't know what kind of animations they use there or who that's supposed to be, but that ain't Spider Man. Uh, especially the way he shoots his webs and stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> and what's up with the like the, the red lightning thing pew, above pew, his head? The spidey pew, sense. Pew. Is that what you guys so are talking generic. about? Like, yeah, they got yeah, Paul Blart to be in the spider suit. <laughs> yeah, the Avenger oh, Spider Man is bad, dude. My 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 friend who's not part of the community bought it on PlayStation because he was like, Spider Man's coming to that, and I was like, All right, man, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your and he, and he and he and he and he measured me. And he was like, What the fuck? <laughs> I just started laughing. I was like, well, it's like, that's what you got your uh, Spider-Man game for. Can I, can I read the actual quote here? Sure. It said, so this um, is a square Enix regarding the exclusive Spider-Man DLC only on PlayStation. Uh, and this is what they've later a year over a year later, come out and said about their own DLC. That's exclusive to PlayStation. Yes. Specifically, uh, Philip Theron from uh, crystal dynamics. He said, we want to spend our efforts on content that everyone can enjoy. So we chose to spend a lot of our energy on the claw raid that's coming up at the same time. He said, really, it's a simple decision for us. Spider-Man can play all the content, but then we release a piece of content that's good on all platforms. What the hell? (laughs) Wow. He said, wow. this is trash. Have fun. Hey, by the way, this other thing that might not be trash is wow. coming out too. It, well, it, chat, wow, let us know man. what you think about that. Uh, let us know what you think about that. Seriously. When I saw it, man, it, oh my gosh. Someone put something funny in one of my threads that it was Booker T that did the motion capturing because <laughs> there's one party's like break dancing. <laughs> yeah, oh my yeah. God. It, it's just, oh, it was so bad, man. And it's I was watching. Terrible. I was watching, um, I, I won't say the publication, I was watching one of them do their like take on it, and they said nothing about the animations. Nothing. They, they were like perfectly fine with it. I was like, like, are we watching the same shit here? Like what like what's going on? Like it oh man. I think it's Square Enix and man. so I think I think Square Enix or yeah, Square Enix, I think they kind of maybe wanted it everywhere. They're like, Yeah, can we just put it everywhere? And Sony said no. And so they were probably like, all right, well, we're not going to, like they said, they're not going to put that much effort into everything because they don't want to divide the player base. They and so like, that like that's it. Yeah, no, they did. They did. You can well, totally tell it was like, whatever, here you go. But everybody else is going to be able to do this. 
That's and it's what it possible looks like. It, these it, plans have changed as well. I don't want to yeah, spend too much time on this. I feel like it's more of a a non topic than it is, but um, yeah, but you're non topic. Just know that it, the DLC it, it, we always it. knew was not going to be really worth your time or money, especially your patience, is trash. It's not. <laughs> uh, but you know what's not trash is this super chat from uh, Hargy. Shout out to Hargy. He says, Should Xbox slash 343 have reviewers uh, get the reviews for Halo Infinite out before November 19th to allow uh, to be nominated for Game of the Year, assuming that it's good enough? Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Hargy. Uh, first of all, Jeff and those guys over there, uh, they've already proven that they are incompetent when it comes to their voting system. They did not nominate Horizon 5 for the highest rated game of the year uh, for game of the year. They didn't nominate it for game of the year at all. Uh, so I'm not worried about what their opinions are on Halo at all uh, or if it's nominated over there. It's, it's purely just a marketing thing. It might be seen by quite a few people, but at the end of the day, you know, will it help sell some more copies? Like I said last week, yeah. But personally, I don't I don't care anymore what the Game Awards have to say about anything. Um, but thank you very much. Danny Passion says, Halo is free to play. What I just spent 30 minutes, 30 on it. He's talking about, you know, he bought some cosmetics because he's enjoying the game. Davari, uh, shout out to him. He says, Pony's playing the, P- the PlayStation exclusive Twitter. Haters going to hate. <laughs> have you guys, <laughs> have you guys looked at the well. Xbox Museum? Yes, um, I did. I did. I looked. I looked at mines today, man. It was it was fascinating, man. To what see was the like, game you put the most time into? <laughs> the dashboard. W- <laughs> WWE SmackDown. <laughs> okay. All right. It was well, Halo said, Three for me. I did. A, I did the museum. The game I played the most was Sea of Thieves. I went and looked. I almost have a thousand hours in that fucking thing. The fuck right, is so I, 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 I I've been asleep. What is this museum? <laughs> Xbox put together a thing to show its 20 year history. Then you can look at your profile and see what game oh, you played from, first from on where? each console on their website. Like right there. It's just like an oh, interactive okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 the first time you logged into Xbox Live, the first game you booted up on each console, the first console you owned, like I, I owned the OG Xbox. But I, apparently I didn't have Live when the, old, when the original. Did, did it come with Live, the original Xbox? No, it was like Not a right few away. years into it. Live, I think, yeah, it launched well, with Halo 2. Uh, okay, the, okay. I think the very next Halo year, 2. it was uh, beta testing. Yeah, so I, I guess I got it at the beginning. So I've been there from, like, day one. I was like, wow, look at all the games that I used to play. Because, like, honestly, tell you, the last three years, like, I have a three-year-old son. So the last three years, I haven't been on gaming as much as I'd like to. The last, I would say two three months i've started to get really back into gaming like i'm streaming like i'm like before the show i was playing halo um like any moment i get now i'm playing games but like back then i was on it day and night and when i saw the hours like it's embarrassing the hours i put it to <laughs> wwe smackdown like oh my god <laughs> i think the wwe thing is you know let's just not talk about this that was a lot of bench benchmarking for that game huh? oh my no that was that was, i can't lie that was uh, the wwe games have been my my favorite yeah, games. I know. I, I played Just kidding. Hey, shout out to uh, yeah, almost man. 900 watching live, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't. Tell a buddy or two. And of course, uh, let us know your thoughts. What was your most played game? And uh, <laughs> how many actual life opportunities did you miss out on? Thanks to Xbox Live, because if you're like us, you probably spent a lot of time on the, on the platform. And, oh, you know, and you made some good friends. You made some good friends. I wouldn't say you missed out on opportunity. I'd say you created some. Uh, but that's my damage control. So, uh, let's go ahead and move forward here. Uh, I do want to talk about P- <laughs> Zalker and D-Batch, you PC cheaters are ruining Halo multiplayer. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, you are. Yep. Wow. <laughs> what, is this, what is going on here? Uh, I, I Stand don't, down, I don't, PC gamers. I, I don't know extensively what's going on. It might be some invincibility or some, some aiming cheats. I'm, I'm not quite sure. So they've it's hacked kind of the game. Sad. It's kind of sad because I, and initially I played it on both PC and I played crossplay, and I didn't really detect anything. And even to this moment, to be honest with you, I'm I'm not really detecting anything. I think Halo's one of those rare games. I think people are just getting fucking wrecked on. I mean, no, yeah. they're they're literally they're just getting like unless you unless like the re- if you'll know when there's a cheater. Like the reason I mean, why they you'll do. know when there's That's a cheater. That's why there's people. That's why there's no no people are like putting videos, and if you're shooting at them, they're not cheating. A cheater, you don't even get to shoot at them. They'll just fucking kill you from across the map. You won't even notice it. Like, if they post videos like that, and I read, like, four articles on this, and they said it, that, like, oh, they're putting videos up. People are like, see, they're cheating. And some of them have wall hacks, and you can see it. But, but again, they are cheating. I played, uh, oh. yep. No, some of them, but it's, like, very rare. 
I'm I'm everybody's acting like it's wall everybody. Hack. Here's I, how you I've disable crossplay. Okay, everybody listening. You go to your Xbox settings. You go into your Xbox Live multiplayer settings, your privacy settings there, and you can disable from the system level crossplay. And that's how you disable crossplay in Battlefield. You can disable it there with uh, Halo for for good. And I, I've been for crossplay with the stipulation that give gamers a choice for reasons like this. Uh, yeah. But I think it's great, especially for games that have a very, very small player base or games that are cooperative or story-based especially. But uh, when stuff like this is happening, it's always deriving from the PC, usually. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, we'll wait for them to find a hack. Uh, a hack. <laughs> Let's hack it. That's They're going to find no, a fix and, and an anti-cheat yeah. or something for this. Uh, I, let us know your thoughts on that. Though, shout, out, shout out to the two people that reported me on Halo for hacking. <laughs> I will say this. Shout though. out. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a cheater. Shout out to them. Because the you're on that mouse and keyboard, boy. That's cheating. Oh, yeah. 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 Get wrecked, hacking. kid. <laughs> with the hacking aside though i will say if when it's like even playing field it's not a huge advantage using a, a mouse and keyboard i don't know for halo for some reason like even on the controller I, i'm still pretty good man so i i think halo is one of those rare like call of duty because it's very very twitchy it's a different type of game but halo, trust me the, d it's it's yeah, okay. it's an advantage for sure <laughs> well you can look up you can look up comparisons wait, 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 d, already are you saying it's not a it's not an advantage being on a mouse and keyboard I'm saying it is an Let's, advantage. No, no, no D-Batch. No, I'm saying in this game, it's less of an advantage. In this game, you can still do pretty good with a with a, with a a controller. I'm not saying it's not an advantage. It's 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 a less twitchy game. So it the, the movements are different. Like, Look, the, the best people is twitching their asses off on that game. I'm going to say right now, I, Halo's filled with some sweaties right now, man. Like, ranked is, fuck? like, oh, I'm just saying, man, it's hardcore. Like, people are really ranking up. They're playing it. The the eSports that just happened, I don't know if you saw that, was a massive success. They had a tournament, their first tournament uh, a couple yeah, days ago, it. which was fucking amazing. Watch it. It's, like, it's, like, really great to the point where Call of Duty professional players are asking for changes like Halo does because it was just so much better. Like they were even like, whoa, what a what a great like showing. Like that was so fun that they're moving over. Yeah. Halo is very balanced. That's the, that's Extremely. why Halo's it's it's very well balanced. The maps are amazing. Getting those, you know, big guns around the map and you know, that's what it matters, working as a team. You can't do it alone in Halo. You can't just carry somebody. Like For that's me? that's why. For me, it's big team battle. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that mode, man. Well, I like that um, mode too. You know, I, I think every mode in Halo has it's, it's quality. That's the thing about it, right? So at the end of the day, like uh, that's like the guns in Halo, man. Every gun in Halo Infinite, from my experience, I like pretty much every single one of them. And that that's a big change, believe it or not, yeah. for me anyway. Over the last couple of Halos, every yeah. gun in Halo Infinite feels really good. And if you're saying that the gunplay isn't that great, because I know there's some of you out there. Try adjusting your dead zones. You know, put your your inner dead zone, your center dead zone at like zero point five, and your maximum threshold at ninety five. And you know, try messing around with that stuff because that really, literally, changes the game. It does. It 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 does. And when I was playing it on the Series X with the controllers, I I think I told you we were talking about. I was like, I just kept it stock, and you're like, no, you got to change it, tweak it a little bit to your liking. And I did, and I messed around with it, and it really improved it, and I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. It was just it's like it's Halo, man. Halo on the controller yeah. just feels it just yeah. feels great. It just feels really good. And and to me, I'm impressed more with the mouse and keyboard port because I I was like a little worried about. It. I was like, ah, you know, it's gonna be like kind of their first time really bringing it out the first day. But it's optimized so well. Like it's just insane how well three four three did. And you can see it from the tournaments. You can see it from the competitive players. And I get it if you see cheaters, whatever. There's cheaters. But to me, I haven't ran into any. And the only time I got messed, the only thing they need to fix is in ranked game, if somebody leaves and you're stuck with a 3v4 or a 2v4, I got stuck with that in four games on ranked, and I can't leave or do anything or I get penalized, you need to fix that. Like, if somebody leaves, forfeit the game. It's a ranked game. I don't want to be stuck there going, you know, just getting wrecked 2v4 the entire time. Like, that's just not fun. Yeah, That's something yeah. they need to, they need to do in the ranked, especially because I like pushing ranked. And a lot of people do. So just if they fix that, man, it's like almost a near perfect multiplayer experience because they have big team battle. If you have a crap ton of friends, they have ranked. If you want to, you know, get hardcore and learn maps and do all this stuff and strategize. And it's just I don't know, man, it's just good, good stuff. Like they did a really damn good job. Quality. Hey, just 
just to touch on the uh, controller, what dealer was saying about adjusting it. I use the elite version too. So there's like three different settings that you can have. So you can really adjust the sensitivity and that does really uh, impact the, the play of the game. But I got to say, it's undeniable that Halo is just fun. As soon as you play it, it's just fun fun man just like forza so instead of criticizing it it's free to freaking play all you guys always claim that you have this high-end pc download it on your pc via um i don't know the microsoft store via steam whatever and play it on pc for free and enjoy the fun instead of you know tweeting up nonsense <laughs> but then hey, you fun get, fact, didn't even get no um, lags i i i tried it on the microsoft store and on steam and I don't know what it is, but the Steam version, I, I get a locked uh, 60 FPS or higher. And I was getting a bunch of dips. This was day one. I don't know if there are any patches. But did I don't you know turn what... turn off VSync? I did not turn off VSync, no. Well, then turn that off, and then you don't have unlimited, and it'll go up to wherever you need to go. Problem okay. solved. Okay. But, but why would there be a difference? Because I didn't, I didn't turn off VSync on the, on the Steam version either. Is that just because they're using like UWP versus yeah? Uh, I think yeah I, yeah. I think I think it's I think it's a difference between that. So it's just an optimization thing. But I would try it again because they probably updated it. So well, in either case, um, you know, when we're talking about PC. I'm dying inside. I want to talk. Hell yeah! <laughs> I want to shut the fuck up, Zucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, Hargy again. He says he thinks Crystal D is looking to get uh, get sold to Xbox. We've also got Face23, BKNY says, what's the next big game coming from Xbox Game Studios? That would be the one from... Hellblade. Say what? Hellblade's coming soon. D-Batch, well, no, will you stop game? it? Well, it's going to be shown soon, sorry. There's a, there, what's that game called, D-Batch, from Arcane? Uh, Redfall, uh, bitch. Redfall. Yeah, Redfall. And when is Redfall. that, Face23? Summer. Yeah, summer, that's baby. supposed to be summer. in the summer. <laughs> Oh, and then not to mention second party deals, which obviously you guys were upset. The second party games like Returnal weren't getting game of the year. So are we counting those? Because that's Stalker 2 in, you know, three or four months. Uh, and that Warhammer 40K. And Warhammer, Warhammer 40K. 40K. Dark side. And then you got, uh, oh, yeah, Starfield. Oh, and Forza yep. Motorsport will come out next year as well. The, the circuit racer. That's yep. the one I'm most looking forward to. And then yep. um, that's just a few of them. Yep. I think uh, I think we're good. But thank you. There's so many games coming right, Mary, out next yeah, year. Okay. To all the detractors, like, you know, enjoy your moments now. And I don't even know why you're boasting because, you know, the competition doesn't have anything for the holidays. They, they truly don't. They're hyping up last year's games. But after this year, Microsoft, like 2022, 2023, 2024, the games are just going to be rolling out. Like, you think they acquired these studios for them to sit there and do nothing. They're not going to produce anything. Just the amount of studios that they have, there's going to be a ton of games coming to the Xbox Series X. So I think we're fine. Hey, hey, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give a shout out real quick though to Fire Z71. He does say, Deal your podcast is fire. Uh, he says, Between me, he says, the best way to catch me up every week, between you and Uncle Eastwood, Mr. Cody Eastwood, every Monday night on his channel, his podcast life is complete. And keep me up to the day, keep me up uh, to date and on point. He says, um, Xbox, the best place to play. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate it. Compliments. I like them. Can I just say that the reason why that Crystal Dynamics is going around because goddamn Tim posted <laughs> on Twitter and was like, I think Crystal Dynamics is the next buyout, just my opinion, right? Like, just saying it, like, in his own head out on Oh, yeah, Twitter. shout out to Tim Dog. I he got, couldn't be here this week. Yeah, shout out to the homie who had me get, like, six DMs. They're like, so is this happening? And <laughs> quoting Tim, I'm like, dude. I just was like, oh, Xbox no. Xbox is buying Jeff Keighley. <laughs> shout out to Tim Dog. <laughs> I was just waiting for Sega. Is Pons popping in and out of the show? What's happening? I think he's having internet troubles. I tried to ask him two questions. I was like, what'd you eat today? And he wasn't here. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, whatever. Uh, hopefully he gets his stuff fixed. He said chicken tendy. Chicken, chicken, <laughs> fish dicks. Uh, so, yeah, PC hackers. Uh, Force Horizon 5 crushes 10 million players in a week. This is big. Yep. And Forza Horizon crushes every critic, especially the ones that put cross gen as the car was upside down with rally skid plates on it. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I'm okay, Tim made in a single week, even though, you know, with all of this Halo stuff going on, Halo's got all the hype. 10 million in a single week for, for Horizon. And, and a, to this point, 10 million plus. What are your thoughts on that? 
Um, do you remember like back in the day? Like I remember the Forza Horizon Four had like three million or something like in a week. Like uh, I think like it's like the numbers are insane. Mm-hmm. And like this is like something they showboat on, right? Like God of War sold like three point one million in a week. Like that was like a big thing back then. Like, dude, like, and we know Horizon a had week. over a million sales basically before the game even came out. Before, yeah, there was a million players on it before the game even came out. <laughs> like, that's how you knew you're sitting there going like, "Oh shit, this is gonna be big." And that's 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 the funny thing. And and of course, it's Game Pass, right? And like every other thing we've seen, you know, Game Pass is to deter people from buying games. So I don't know, man. This this is I think this is becoming. I hate to say it, probably Xbox's biggest franchise. Like it just like and I and I don't say like I hate to say it to it like I just Halo say, like, comes out tomorrow Halo twelve million there. oh well fuck. like I'm just saying like I think Gears and Halo for me are like the two franchises where I'm like I I need to play them right like I just need to play those games but this is quickly becoming one of those games where it's just like everybody needs to play it and it's and it's hit that market to the point where I've talked to like other people that are not gamers I'm like they're like what do you play and I'm like Forza Horizon they're like isn't that that car game and I'm like oh shit you know what that is like they're like yeah it's pretty fun and I'm like what well, okay you are like, surrounded that, that, by like, the most constant Ferris wheel full of casuals I hang out with way too many people <laughs> is that people, a car bro. game I What's hang out that? with way too many people. Hey, I, I do. I hang out with way too many people. So like, they, oh, they even know what Horizon is, what you're saying, and they're like, yeah, a lot I've of people do. Yeah, a lot of people do. They just know what Horizon is. Like that's just, I don't know, man. It's I think it's the biggest franchise. The not not motorsport. I think it's Horizon uh, Forza Horizon is the biggest one that Xbox has going right now. I'm, and then you know we'll see with Halo though. I want to see the numbers on Halo. Okay, well let yeah, me get I think, uh, I, this I last super chat and I'll come to you, everyone. Numbers. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this one. Uh, Joe Keen, uh, shout out to him. He says, it's very unlikely Crystal D gets sold off without Eidos Montreal. Those two have been working together for decades. In my, in his opinion, it's all or nothing. And I, can, I can't see it. So, I mean, hey, something to be seen. Um, and, you know, I'm to the point now where we're hearing so much stuff behind the scenes. Like, I don't even care anymore. You know, until stuff happens, like, I don't care. You know, they buy this or that. I want to see some games. We'll talk about it. We'll be excited about it because that means more software and development. But at the end of the day, you know, we have to wait and see. Everborn, uh, what are your thoughts on Forza Horizon doing so well, blowing people's minds? Yeah, man, I, I, I didn't expect it to, to do what it did so fast. But, like, I, I, I just wonder now what the Halo numbers are going to be like. Just if, if Forza can do 10 million in seven or eight days, and I, I heard someone say like yesterday that they already hit eleven million. A free to play Halo. Right. This is what I mean. Like, um, cause there's no barrier, right? Like, so for, with Forza, there's a barrier that you are either going to buy it or you have Game Pass. But there is no barrier for for Halo. You can just download it whether you're a subscriber to Game Pass or not, and you don't have to pay for it. So and and Halo, you know, even though the last game was 2015, it is just still one of those sort of uh, evergreen IPs that, you know, you tell people it's out there, at least going to try it. And I think once they try it, they'll be hooked. So I'd almost be surprised if the if the Halo numbers don't go even higher. I, I, I used to joke, I put out a tweet back in like August, and I said, uh, my only response to any uh, Halo slanter going forward will be a short and sweet 10 million. And now 10 million seems quaint. Yeah. Halo I'm, 5 crossed 10 be, million. No, but I like, I, I think it's going to cross 10 million long before this year is over. Like calendar 21. I mean, you're talking I 10 million, could, bro, in a fucking easy in a week. Yeah. I, 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 I think it could do 15, 20 million this year, like, you know, by New Year's. Mm. Because it's free to play, because it's Halo, it's uh, it's it's crazy times, man. Yeah, I'd like and, to know, and uh, yeah, go ahead. This should tell you how bullish uh, Microsoft is right now when they say, "Okay, here's our you know juggernaut nuclear missile Forza Horizon," and they don't even let you breathe for a week before they slap Halo on you. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. Shows how much ammo they have. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some people don't agree with that decision. I think, uh, you know, it wouldn't have hurt them to hold it till December. But at the end of the day, it don't hurt them not to, I guess, right? Uh, if anything, it kind of crowds their own previews for Halo. It kind of crowds their own content regarding that stuff for people like me that do make that shit. 
But at the end of the day, um, for people out there that are actually playing these games, I'm one of those people. It, it, options aren't bad, and I'm not really worried about what they're losing or what they could be gaining from either of these. Right, I don't get paid by these guys. But Bonzarelli, uh, 10 million plus, uh, apparently could be already with Halo Infinite as multiplayer. Where do you think this game's going to go? Uh, man, if they, if if they keep it up, um, and and keep adding good content and stuff to the game, I mean, which I'm sure they will. They've always done right by the multiplayer halo side of things uh dude this this game is right now the 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 biggest thing going i mean uh i i have friends that at at work that are playing it now that we're playing stuff like cod and apex uh my son is playing it and his friends are playing it everybody is just having a great time with halo infinite right now and uh rightfully so i mean the game is great i'm having a great time with it i i i really like this multiplayer and i'm not a big big multiplayer guy but this game is just really just fun you can sit down play a match have a blast even if you suck like i do (laughs) but yeah i'm having a great time with it man playing with a bunch of people in the community every every friday night saturday i i play with a bunch of different people from the community and it's it's just a blast Mm -hmm. so i i can see this game really just continuing to just soar man um like i said as long as they keep adding more and more to it adding events and stuff uh, like i really think it's going to be a big deal for a long time coming it's it's already hurting uh the other guys like cod and battlefield so yeah you know, and those two kind of blew one of their own toes off with a magnum this year too uh meat puppet what, by the way does the... say playing four stars and five is like crack you just can't stop and uh we I... have halo to boot keep up the good work thank you so much uh we've also got aka havoc he does say four stars and five is killing it sales for xbox xs um S, S, what, EST as 6.2 million, oh, estimates at 6.2 million. So uh, personally, four, 4 million for PC. I mean, that could be, I mean, you're talking 6 million sales already? That's That'd be crazy, bro. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, man, they do release on a lot of consoles. He said with less consoles sales um, than players. So, I mean, hey, you can't even get your hands on a console right now. And they're not selling the old stuff anymore. Keep that in mind, right? They're really, you can't buy it like an S or anything in the stores. So this thing would be even bigger. And then we get one last one from LA Chargers fan. <laughs> what do you think about that, Zelker? LA Chargers fan? Yep. What do you say? I can't see it. That's his name. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, so, he said, shout no. out to, <laughs> I'll, I'll say a shout, no. out, to, yeah, shout no. out to the plug D for Twitter links to PS5 and 3080 from Best Buy. Loving Halo, but hate I can't select specific game modes. Bot and ranked suck. Bots and ranked suck. Uh, yeah, not being able to choose what kind of game type you want to do, like Slayer, is it's kind of annoying. I think there's a lot of things that need to like put into the game. Right? I agree like, with that. Like that stuff. Like if you want to play a certain mode, put that in there. Like there's no there's no reason why not to have it. And I also think they need to put more maps. I know they have ten. I think I think more maps. If they keep continue like putting out like some in December, some in January, and just keep adding to it, like this thing can have longevity for a very long time. Yeah, and it's you know that's just what it is, right? It needs to be. An, they say it's an ongoing game, and that's what the multiplayer is going to be, especially since it's free to play. Just keep adding stuff, and you'll be just fine, man. This game is a lot of fun. Well, I'm going to yeah, move forward, and that. I want to get one more opinion on this, Everborn. But I got to give a shout out to almost 1,200 people already watching this, guys. If you haven't hit the like button, uh, let's try to get closer to a thousand for the end of the show. We do appreciate it. Tell a buddy or two. Retweet it on Twitter, and of course, uh, hit the bell icon, subscribe, all that good stuff. Because not only are we talking about all the latest and greatest topics with a great panel. And the best chat in the universe, but uh, we will have more and more content rolling out over, I'd say after Thanksgiving, right? So not this week, but next week we get back to normal and do all that good stuff. Evermore, I want you to cap it off with uh, your final opinion on this particular subject, and we'll move forward to uh, some some more fun ones. Oh yeah, no, I was saying the thing that um, has me like really excited about uh, Halo and three four three is that they're sort of sunsetting the work they're doing on the Master Chiefs collection so that they can kind of fully support this thing. So uh, Halo Infinite. So I I really feel like you're going to see a lot more, um, you're going to see them engaged a lot more in updating uh, this game because it is sort of like a a service game. And if you spent any time in the Master Chief collection, you know that they were really involved in making changes, sometimes in like real time based on, feedback even though like if you're a halo hardcore kind of like me you're never happy but it, it it's good to see that the majority of people are 
really high on this thing. And I know that they will be uh, constantly um, making updates to these things. So um, that, that to me is exciting. Like let, you know, Master Chief Collection is great, but now uh, is full steam ahead. And that Master Chief Collection team is, is going to be focusing on keeping um, Infinite up to date. So that, that excites me. I want to, I want, uh, chat, I'm calling on your help, right? Like we're summoning Captain Planet here, but I want each of you to, 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 to let me know the best Black Friday deals that you've seen. Okay. Uh, this stuff's starting to come out. Uh, I wanted to kind of do this because we like to talk about this every year around this time. Uh, Windows Central reporting can get controllers below 50 bucks at Walmart. That does include the new Horizon 5 edition controller, which uh, Microsoft did send me. It's got a really, really cool steering wheel type grip on the back. Um, the, the triggers and stuff are very sensitive though. I w- I'm locking up the brakes a lot on that controller to kind of like reacclimate. But I figured some of you guys might be uh, kind of up to date on some of these deals. So Windows Central starting to report on these. Uh, there's a massive Xbox dashboard sale for games, right? Me and Lufa were talking about this this morning. Um, D, are you seeing anything in particular that's kind of catching your eye right now? <laughs> Besides the mute button. God no. damn it, D-Batch, the most talented. <laughs> the most talented. How'd you know it? How'd you know it? No, um, I, I, I've seen the same thing you guys have seen. I've seen some controllers go on sale. I've seen at the Razor store. I actually posted on my Twitter today. It's uh, a charge base and an extra battery for, like, a rechargeable battery for your uh, controllers for the Series X and S. And it has the matching colors, like the... 20th anniversary the uh, volt one the red they have all the different colors if you order at razor the second item that you put into your cart you get automatically 20 percent off uh, i've seen some controllers like you said you know under 50 dollars i i think the big thing this uh black friday is a lot of the tvs i see a lot of oleds really dropping in price they're really pushing them this black friday in fact the c uh uh, the C1 <laughs> is going more than my uh, is going a lot less than the one that I got last year at the same time of the year. So there's some really good deals to be had out there. Of course, on Twitter, like I'll, I'll post them out. But um, yeah, it's, hey, it's RDNA some games 117 like- says goes to Shishima for $70. Yeah, <laughs> these guys I, I are savage. No, Sony Sony has some good sales. I saw Ghosts of Tashima, the director's cut. They, they put a good discount on that. They have some good sales. Well, why didn't you mention it, D Batch? We came to you and. Actually, Actually, the Microsoft Store has a lot of good sales as well. I was looking at this uh, Capcom Arcade. I don't know if any of you guys had that. I think I'm going to probably get that. They have a lot of good deals on, on the store. And GameStop has some good deals as well. You can get um, some... Uh, you know who has Nintendo a really good deal? For like $25 and whatnot. V- Amazon. Video. Amazon has a lot of good games on sale. Like the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Ooh, physical yes, on Amazon. Yes, on Amazon yes. is $25 for the Jeez. physical yes, copy. It is. It get is. that damn game. It's I think forty or thirty eight bucks on Xbox digitally. But if you want the physical one, the Xbox one version, it's twenty five bucks. Somebody look, just look, I paid that. sixty bucks I see, I see for that game, and it's worth every well. single worth penny. Sixty, yeah. Yeah. That game is uh, that game is amazing. It's literally probably game of the year. Like just fucking everybody should. Everybody in chat, stop what you're doing. Go buy it. Don't yeah, stop what you're just, doing. Multitask. Hey, yeah. Video, video <laughs> gaming <laughs> says GameStop twenty seven dollars for three months of Game Pass Ultimate. Shout out to the chat. We're reading some of your have, your Black Friday finds. Actually, uh, in, in Canada, in Canada, it's a little bit cheaper. So I think if you probably go on Amazon, you might be able to to find that deal a little bit cheaper. Mm. Yeah, they're, they're throwing it out there. <laughs> I just yeah, have a uh, a public service announcement for everyone. Uh, if you want to save money on a game, wait until after I buy it at full price because games. I don't know what it is. They usually go on sale the week after I buy them every time. I pay well, buy more price games at full price, damn it. We need more sales. <laughs> full price um, for Guardians a few days later, 30 bucks. Look, look, that's like honestly, one. though, that's on you. You should have knew it on Black Friday sales was coming up. <laughs> I know. I know. But I I'll tell too, you, I, I got I, the FOMO. I got a it copy of it for free, but I also bought another copy for somebody. And I wish I would have bought my copy because the game is that good. So don't worry about it. Enjoy the game. It's worth every single penny. So if you just bought yep. guardians guys, they just, uh, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. They just added ray tracing to it. Uh, we were, you know, we were telling you guys that this, this isn't super optimized or anything like that. They added an entire new ray tracing mode. They've made some improvements, even boosted performance on some consoles. They've added a mode on the series S with the uncapped frame rate. They didn't mess with the resolution according to what I know, but it can hit 60 FPS. They recommend VRR with that. 
I would just add, tell them to enable dynamic resolution. I don't understand why they don't just do that. Um, get a lock frame rate because it can do it. But yeah, Guardians is great, man. They're adding a bunch of stuff to it. They've. Uh, I hope that game is successful. I really do. Chat, let us know yeah. if you played it. Because it's fire. I just beat it. So. Did you? Yeah, I just beat it today. I been went hard on it for the last, from Sunday to today at night and stuff. Didn't really, like, I played some Halo and that's it. But that's, like, late at night with my buddies. Before that, though, I was just playing Guardians. And holy cow, is it amazing. Put, like, 27 hours in it. <laughs> Nano Polymath sent me this, uh... <laughs> Send me this tweet with Spider Man uh, fighting everybody, Derp Man. Yep. And yep. It, it, the tweet just says, <laughs> Crystal Dynamics by Spider Man is just bad. Shows him derping around, punching robots. Yeah, it's not good, man. Shout out to Nano for sending that to me. Uh, I don't understand it, but like they said, their good stuff's coming to everybody. Chat, let us know if you've uh, played with the Avengers, uh, Spider Man, or, or at least looked into it. Uh, I do got to give a shout out to Lord Starkiller. Remember for 14 months with that platinum gold badge, he says Deathloop at GameStop for $24.99 on the PS5. That's another one coming out, Phase 23, Brook- Brooklyn, New York. That's uh, Deathloop coming out next year for Xbox, right? So yeah, that'll no, be I'm good not, for... I'm not playing that. I'm, I'm not playing my, that on PlayStation. also got a price cut as well. Yeah. Uh, Clutch, Clutch Man, shout out to you. He does say Forza Horizon 5 had to be in the... The sports slash racing nominees this year, if not GT, would be up against Forza Horizon Five and Motorsport next year when it wouldn't uh, stand a chance. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we all know that uh, Motorsport and Horizon are the highest rated racing games there are. So, again, um, just wanted to bring up that topic with Black Friday stuff like that, in case you guys uh, forgot, like I did. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of crap on sale. Dashboard sale is pretty big. It's like 900 items. I think bonds. Are you eyeballing anything? Are you even alive over there? You bastard. Yes, I'm alive. I'm just sitting here listening to you guys. Oh, um, you know, where's all the, where's all the Cy- Fonz, yeah. Fonz, cyberpunk, $10 on uh, at target. Not <laughs> no joke. Do it. Cyberpunk it $10 it. review. I it. Yeah. I, you know, I, I had a great time with that game. So it, it was, it was, you know, two crashes on the series X wasn't too bad through my, with my playthrough. So not bad. No, you're not eyeballing nothing on the sale. No. No, I'm not eyeballing anything on that sale. Uh, no, you... matter of fact, I, you know what? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, there's nothing on that sale that I want. You look through 900 items just now? No, I'm not looking through 900 items. Now. I know that. I'm at just a few, and I'm just like, ah, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to play any of these games. Like, <sighs> I'm waiting to play the Halo Infinite camp campaign, to but, be honest. But you said That's that you, like would, you would play Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You got to pick that up. That's on sale. Yeah. Yeah. How much? How much? I don't know. You you said you looked through all thousand items. No, shit. I didn't. But but if if that game's over ten dollars, I'm not buying it. <sighs> Bonzarelli, I'm gonna put you in a Sarah McLaughlin commercial. Uh, yeah, do so, please, and so I can I wait like for that it. Halo Infinite campaign and play it in, in a cage away from the wife and the kids. No, well, right. what if, what if you <laughs> could buy <laughs> Harmonix like Epic Games did? Would you do that? Which one? It's what if you could buy dollars? Uh, <laughs> Fawn. Shadow, Shadow Tomb Raider is thirteen dollars. Yeah, it's three dollars over my max. You know, I can't do that. You know, look, we can I, all you know, we can. Co-sign. You can't. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, funds are short th- th- this month. All right, Epic Games you buys Harmonix. Uh, I guess they're making guitar games. I don't know. Hey, fun fact: Back in Mar- Batman Arkham Asylum initially started out as a Ooh. rhythm game. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yep. Wow. Sure did, and they turned it into one of the best third-person action visual games ever made. Yeah, you know, I went back recently and, and played through some of those. Uh, well, not all the way through, but I, I was trying them out, you know. And, man, Asylum is rough. It, it's it, it, it's, it's 11 years, great, 12 years old. But it's, it's a bit stiff. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then you go to, like, Dark Knight, and it's, like, amazing. It's like, holy crap. Why don't they do a resolution bump on that? Hello, Jason Ronald, please. Like, I heard that they do might something. do that for the anniversary. Did that already pass? Yeah. Batman's birthday yep, or some shit? That already, that already passed, yeah, Damn during it. the October. Yeah. Like, yeah, all that stuff. Everybody thought it was coming, and the it's FPS not. FPS boost is nice, but... Or, or, or no, there, is there, there isn't anything. There's no, FPS no there's boost, nothing there's no on that. Yeah, there's it always just looks trash at 900p. Like it looks very bad, especially when it's raining, which it's always raining in that game. It seems it, it just doesn't look very good. Mm. It's very shimmery. Shimmery. It shimmers right off the screen. Playing. Shimmery. They got an FPS book. Sonic Generations. Oh, here we it's go. T- Slightly it's concerning. Taking every 
every opportunity to shout that game out. It's <laughs> amazing. If you have not played it, try it at 60 FPS. It Did is, it not already is, run at 60 FPS? It no, I can't. Not on the 360. But I, they 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 just did some kind of uh, boost. I think they announced it on the twentieth anniversary. I know I was playing Halo, and then I got that to go and try it out. I'm telling you, man, that game could have come out today. Way better than Sonic Colors. I know that's not a high bar, but like it is a love letter to all of the old Sonic games because like you meet yourself from the past, and so they remix the old Sonic. It, is it uh, a sixty four meta like all the old Sonic games? It was like a 77, 78, <laughs> but I think that's because of the frame rate issues. Try it I'm today, it would get an 85. I don't know about that. I Let's mean, go back to the Dark Knight. That needs to get <laughs> FPS boosted and the resolution bumped. Please. Uh, that, game is, that game plays so damn good. I was just playing that. It was, man. We're, we're I, fucking with you, Everborn. Uh, I want another Batman. You know, I want another Batman. Hey, that's the thing about it. Microsoft are updating all these different games, and whether or not you like X, Y, or Z, there's something there for everybody, right? I would yep. love a yep. rise to to get like an FPS boost. Yeah, yeah. And that game still looks good, man. Let's go back to Batman Dark Knight. That <laughs> game is freaking phenomenal. The the combat in that game is good. It's dude, it's so satisfying. Really, really good stuff. So did you beat it? Not yet. Right. Right. I beat Sonic Generations. I'm waiting for that resolution boost, yeah. to be honest. That's, uh, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh-huh, I want sure. to Seven years so later, I'm still waiting for that res bump. It's it's amazing, but it looks so bad on the Series X. Look, just stop being shallow, okay? I have to be. It looks really bad, man. When Mad Max <laughs> looks better than that game, it's it. it come on, Mad Max it, it is 1080p, 60 FPS, yes, though. Exactly, and it plays so good. That's another one that's so good. I'm playing through right now again. Well, look, so good. In Arkham Knight's defense, it's still one of the best looking games of all time. When you have you know, well, basically on PC, it's still one of the best looking games ever six, seven years later, right? Yeah, um, I don't have a PC, sir. So. I know that, but I'm saying that the game is, the game, you know, it, it can look stunning to this day, and they do need to update it. I agree. KY Bob, by the way, says, I seem to be much better at cooperative multiplayer in Halo Infinite than I remember being at uh, any of the other Halos. Anyone else feel this way? Uh, sometimes, man, um, it's also really easy to like, just do a lot of cool shit. Like I said, in my preview video, headshot, grapple, you know, grenade, melee, chain things together. It just feels really yeah. good. I, yeah. I somebody said that Mad Max is 120 FPS actually. Is oh, it? Interesting. Yeah. I didn't Look hear about that. that. It, it feels really good. I, I've been playing it. It's really, really good. Mm. Uh, Hey, sir. X-Men says, uh, I want my Xbox fridge. Go to Target. They had them. Ooh, what? RJ. They had them in store. I oh. suppose. I know I where I'm going after the show. I suppose. K K Asante. Shout out to him. I did a podcast with him as well. The same one with Everborn. Uh, he says okay. salute to RDX OGs and please stop Everborn from <laughs> turning RDX into a Sega podcast. The ten year yeah. old. <laughs> the ten year old is coming out. Yeah. Let's no, just. Uh, you know, K Asante and I do three podcasts together. Damn, um, we do we do the gaming Damn, circle uh, on Saturdays on on on, uh, on his channel, and uh, I have successfully converted that into a uh, Sega acquisition watch oh, podcast. Wow. So. Now, yeah. I don't know, man. Like Sega acquisition, I'd be like, uh, I don't know if they that's great said, news for me. They already said no exclusives. Yeah, uh, we'll revisit that later. <laughs> I won't. I won't turn it into a Sega podcast tonight. All right. Well, uh, keep the keep the Sega hope alive. I'm sure you're not alive. I'm sure you're not alone. Like, there's probably some people in the chat that want that stuff as well. Uh, Dark Sea map, by the way, to said Rise of the Tomb Raider is $5.99 right now on Xbox Store. Be yeah, able to play Rise of the yeah, Tomb Raider. Yeah, you're just a fraud at this point. There's, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's 1X enhanced. It's 60 FPS and everything. It's a lot of fun. Shout out to everyone in the Super Chat. And shout out to everybody watching live, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't. Tell a buddy or two. Uh, I don't know most of you guys are playing Horizon 5, playing Halo, but everybody that did turn out, we do appreciate you. You're awesome. And um, you know what? We got one last topic. The 2022 updates coming to the Xbox via Jason Ronald and Iron Lords. He did say uh, that they are prioritizing the game DVR in 2022. I already went on a Ooh. damn rant about this uh, because so. they told us a year ago that that was a yeah. high priority. We 
people believe you? And <laughs> I believe them now, but only because it's been a year. And updates yeah, to achievements, really which I do know for a fact they pushed that aside a long time ago. They were thinking about doing um, basically like Platinums, uh, new versions of Platinums for games on Xbox and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really sure what they might pull off there, but it has been a while. I say you just start hiring some more people. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you know, for, for some updates for achievements and, and game DVR, game DVR was apparently handled by one or two people. Like, how many people game, do you need to, to pull this off? I don't, I don't understand. Game, Maybe it's kind of complicated. I don't know, D-Batch. Game DVR needs to be at the top of the list. Nobody is clamoring for anything to change with the achievements. Everybody's pretty happy with the way it is. Uh, if they want to change it, that's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm all up for change. But the priority should definitely be DVR. the game DVR. Like, it should be easy to stream, you know, without your content looking dark it should be easy to capture hdr it should be easy to, to 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 put on youtube like this is a tool for you to advertise your console for you to advertise your games there's plenty of streamers out there if you have the software in the console up to par more people will stream it which is just going to equal more sales and more um engagement with the xbox so this and just as an owner who just wants to be able to capture some footage it it, it this shouldn't be an issue a year later so uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like you. I'm gonna rag on them until they, till they fix this. But it needs to be top of the list. Yeah, and I would say that maybe they push this back. The only excusable thing, which I would just fucking be transparent about it, would be, hey, we got a new dashboard coming in. This is carryover dashboard from the Xbox One, and this new dashboard has different system requirements from the box, and we don't know that that number of RAM, that amount of RAM, or or how much processing. That new us is going to take it could be more performant uh, more efficient so we don't know what we have to work with to utilize the game dvr in the background because remember that all takes place in the os side um maybe that's one possibility maybe they're purchasing a company like clip champ uh to integrate into xbox right that's you don't just say it it's not like anybody gives a damn we would just prefer transparency about it but i do like that at least uh they did reference this a little bit and, and iron lords did ask about this which is which is good and you know the achievements thing i agree you know i try i shared gears ultimate today with fps boost that clip came out so dark man i had to i had to send it to one drive and go on my phone max max the exposure the brightness out all the shit it looked like it looked like crap even after i was done but that's the basically the best i could salvage it because i wanted hey, to show you, people gears ultimate running 60 fps on the on the console do you guys think that um xbox should sort xbox game studios should sort of like standardize a photo mode for their first party games um i think that's going to be on the developer side pretty much all well, always aside from the share button because some games use a lot of post-processing right some other games don't really use any at all like uh shadow of the tomb raider when you go into photo mode it ramps all the settings up right so the game looks as <laughs> ridiculous right um i don't know i don't know how they could really pull that off um I think the best option would be for developers because they can tailor that and, and decide to raise settings or, or whatever, make it look as good as, as we've all seen. I just feel like they should kind of, because like, and this is why I say like for, for first party, right? Like I know each developer would have to implement it separately. I'm just wondering if they should, and I know they're hands off, but I'm wondering if they should just say, Hey, we want you all you guys, we're not going to tell you what to do, but we want you to do a photo mode because that does, help get the word out and it is free advertisement and oh you're it, saying like mandate it yeah 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 for um, their first party never mandate anything on a developer if they want to put it they can put it if they want to put resources to it they put resources to it i don't really care for photo mode i don't really go into photo mode all that often i know a lot of people do and then they go on twitter and like look what i did and it's like i don't i don't care about that i'm just playing the damn game and i like record footage more and that to me the DVR is way more important because I've had Fords of footage look like shit, but then look good on another one. It's like such a hit and miss when I'm playing on the Series X and getting captured like this awesome moment, and then it comes out to look like it's, it was recorded in 1950. But one's like, on an OS level and one's on a developer level. Well, yeah, and then that's but I would say that the data on. is going to push these developers, as we've seen, to implement photo modes. You know. Because yeah. they, they know that when people share their games, it looks great, which you think would double down on the DVR, and those guys would be like, what? holy crap, we should do that. But like I said, there could be factors. They, 
why don't they just get AMD to help them with it? Because AMD has Radeon Relive, which obviously runs on the same architecture. That, like, when I'm recording on a game, it takes maybe about two FPS, max three FPS away from the game to to to, to That's capture. That's a 4K that, high bit rate, yeah, right? Yeah, so so they could you know work it out where you're you're losing basically nothing, and, and do it with AMD because it's their it's their hardware. AMD would know how to get it done. I I just don't understand a year later how this is still a thing when it's easily solvable by at the very least outsourcing it to someone that knows how to do it with the hardware. Yeah, or or. You could even tell third-party developers, and I'll end this topic here, guys. I know we're bitching about the fucking DVR and talking about this shit you don't give a fuck about. But there are apps that, you know, third-party apps on the box already that do things, and they are told, hey, applications have X amount of resources to run on. Build your application to this spec. on It'll run on this box and run on this marketplace. It'll enable third parties to fucking have some kind of DVR option, you know, that they can implement or have and it's a, it's a default DVR. Don't lock it down to first party even. If, if, you know, they can find a way to do it and uh, add more competition, then why not? But again, uh, you know, hey, that's our show. Thanks for joining us, guys. We know most of y'all are out playing games, doing what you do. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Everybody around the world, we get a lot of messages from people from all over the world, all different countries, uh, on the job, overnight shifts. We do appreciate you. Thanks for rocking out. Just hit the like button, everybody. If you haven't, tell a buddy or two about Real Do Xbox Podcast because, you know what, uh, we're trying to bring everybody the best news in the world, which is um, Fonzarelli is a great human and he's going to buy shout out to Tomb Raider. Okay. I didn't have anything yeah. else to okay. bounce on. I, I was trying you to think of great things know. about you, Fonz. I'm sorry. You know what I did? I don't know, <laughs> man. We'll see about that shadow of the Tomb Raider, but um, yeah, it's 13 bucks. I might as well do. Yeah, I think I will. Wait, hey, I, wait hold on a minute. I, I just I bought, I, I just bought a uh, shadow of the Tomb Raider for $6. Right now? Right now. Right now. On the Xbox Ooh. store. Like, oh, Shadow of Tomb Raider ago. or Rise of the Tomb Raider? Both of them. Shadow and Rise, five ninety nine each. Oh, oh, who? Which one of y'all was lying saying 13, Zalker? I just saw, I'm on the Xbox thing right now. It said $13. Well, I'm on the yeah, website because uh, I'm on the computer here because oh, we're on the oh, well, On the computer. You should be oh, on your you Xbox, sir. not the PC, you bastard. I'm on, I, I did plug in my, my Yeti to the Xbox then, Fonz. Fuck That's right. Hey, just to let. I'll probably just. Jump in here and do my outro if that's okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, uh, you can catch me on Twitter, D underscore Batch. Of course, YouTube, D Batch. You know, follow me on the channel. I'll probably put some stuff up this week. Probably stream this week. Xbox Series X Halo Edition right now is in stock in the Microsoft Store. You can't check out at the moment. It's kind of glitched. I don't know if they're preparing for a drop real soon, but the checkout button is appearing. So your mileage may vary. It was a good show. Um, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> PC trash. Hey, shout out to Splendiferous. He, say, he says, Jeff Beely show is a bunch of soggy Cheetos. <laughs> okay. And then we got a semi-sweet Cheeto. Ooh. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've also got Tootsie's the cat saying more than meow. It says meow plus four stars and five paw emojis. Shout out to Tootsie's the cat getting close to being the official sponsor of rdx uh oh, also wait I, I i'm an idiot i i just bought shadow of the tomb rated definitive edition extra content for 5.99 oh shit. Uh, so I bought, is that you know, such a liar page. don't ever question me freaking <laughs> sega ever. fanboy <laughs> i'm done with you that kick him quiet until <laughs> after the show everborn damn it i exposed a little zaki like that he's got the world's smallest he sword expose, he didn't expose shit i got my sword out i'm flailing people i'm hitting them in the face i don't give a fuck oh man i, I just wasted six dollars well damn it man. you know what it's all good it's okay you know bad. uh blunty by the way shout out to him two dollars super chat try i think i've gotten all these uh so if you got something to say make it quick he says if you can talk about it how long is the Halo campaign? I cannot talk about it. Any other questions? Uh, yeah. You can't say anything Because uh, like since guys. my preview video, right? I released a preview video. Thanks uh, and shout out to everybody never, who watched it. It never ends. It's infinite. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about, how do you feel about the, this open world Halo? And I'm saying that in quotes. Halo. Open world Halo. Is it, is it kind of like Far Cry or what? Mm, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, it's it's Halo. Okay. And there are <laughs> guns. <laughs> no, don't nice. say anything, bro. Look, look, look I would have to be better questions from the chat. You know, like, uh, 
if if they come up with one in the next minute or two during outros, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll be able to think of a different way to word something. But um, does the combat feel yeah. different at all, or is it feel the, the like combat? The combat's like right out of the multiplayer. Okay, okay. I mean, so you know it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lord Starkiller, five dollars super chase says, "Happy Thanksgiving, all." Shout out to you, brother. Do appreciate you stopping by and checking out the show, man. Uh, but uh, again, if you're still here, guys, hit the like button. We do appreciate it. Tell a buddy or two. And uh, as always, I know it's the shorter show. I'm already getting people uh, bitching at me here, especially in the DMs. But uh, that is pretty much the most interesting topics this week. And, you know, everyone on this panel is dead, so I can't really milk milk the energy. You know, it's not like all Astray Gaming milking kangaroos in Australia. You know, there's not much else I can do here. So that's I'm a, just working with what I'm giving. I'm wrangling the panel, and the panel just took some NyQuil. First of all, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> because you're right. <laughs> hey, Cedric H. He says Metro Exodus is nine dollars. You know what? Let's talk about Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, it <sighs> needs to be resolution it, bumped. You know what uh, we need to talk about? So you need F- to beat yes, Batman Arkham good. Knight. God, it's so. Good, but it's good. Like I want to freaking just play through this, but it looks so bad, bro. Yeah. Just sit back it. outside just your house, look Sonic, at it through the man. window. Who, who has to fix that, by the way? Like who who does the resolution boost and stuff? Can can Microsoft do that, or that, does it have to be done by Rockstar? They need to get the okay from Warner Brothers to do, to do it, and it has to okay. not break the game. And it has to, yeah. And so the, if it ha- if it breaks the game or any of the code or anything yeah. that they had designed for it. And they're going to be like, no, that's all. And uh, and I, I remember I was playing it in a party with Dealer when I was on the Xbox. And he was like, I was like, bro, this kind of hurt my eyes. And he was just yeah. like laughing. And he was like, he was like, just go over to your PC. Trust me. And then I went over there and it like was like it's crap. Just yeah. looked way better. It just exactly. tastes the way it is. It just hey, the way Dealer. It is. Still, I'm still on PC when the game first came out, though. It, it, it was pretty oh, it was janky. trash. It was pretty, I think I think the boat is the ship is sailed on that. Billy Eagle says the detective happen. stuff has ruined the Batman games for him. Billy, what? don't you want to be a cop in secret? Yeah. Are you telling me that the greatest detective ever is the reason why you don't want to play the greatest uh, detective ever in Batman? Come on. <laughs> come the on. detective work is is a part of Batman, though. Like that's that's who he is. He's the greatest detective. Cool. Right. Batman is a cop. Uh, hey. Dealer. Yeah. Tech question for you, sir. Five dollars. Is it at all possible for? Uh, Microsoft, Sony, AMD, whoever, um, to use the um, FSR tech that's kind of like the DLSS stuff, to use that for bat compat games. That um, has to be implemented on a... They do have a, a version of it, kind of, but not really, called the Hovis method or some shit or something like that. I don't... The the Bucci method, method or some shit. I don't know. Some guy from Rush Hour 3. All right, that that does supposedly quadruple over uh, game resolutions. We've seen it in Halo Three. Like this doesn't require a patch uh, on by, by any developer. But FSR is like uh, basically a developer level thing where they I, they do have to go in and, and and do that. Which, by the way, as we've discussed, Forza Horizon, one of the best games ever, doesn't do that. They they could have effectively added forty percent or more easily to their performance and didn't do it. Guardians of the Galaxy didn't do it. So many games don't use it right now. They didn't even bother to checkerboard it, you know? Uh, so yeah. they can checkerboard. They can do, hit that with FSR. There's all kinds of different possibilities. That's why they have de-blur, de, de-blurs and everything built into that. Uh, that it's just is. the beginning, man. It's just the beginning. But, yeah, to answer your question, I, I think it's on the developer end. They would have to patch it. I want Arkham okay. Knight patched, but I think it would be patched Fonz early, which you do need to beat anyway, Fraud. Uh, if it didn't break the game, they probably would have already Send patched it. Send me your it. PC, and I'll beat it. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just yeah. don't think I don't it's think that rivers. you would enjoy it. You know why? Yeah, I'll enjoy it because it's it'll, on PC. Yeah, because it's on PC. That's why I don't play on PC. That's why you made Zucker go to PC, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I beat it. And I beat it. It was great. Well, yeah. No, no, no. It, it, that's awesome. On the oh, Epic yeah. Game Store because it was free. <laughs> Stupid. <Damn. laughs> The dealer told me, like, it's free on the Epic Game Store. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. And I just went over there, clicked it. I was like, got it. Mm. Uh, hey, Fonz, now because I spent that $6, I just had to go spend the $13 on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. God oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh ooh, $20 wait, I just spent right this again. thing now. Zucker, you're never right. Shut up. I'm right this time, bitch. Give it to me. <laughs> hey, you know who's right? Cedric H., who reiterates Metro Exodus is $9. Go buy that. It uses Ray Trace Global Illumination. It's 1440p. 
and it runs at 60 FPS on the Series X. That's a developer that took the time to actually leverage the hardware outside of the features that the engine doesn't currently support, like my shader. So that's uh, a beautiful that a, game. Wasn't that a game that was in Game Pass at one time? Yes, it was. Yes. And it's yeah, worth every single dollar of $9. Yeah. Every dollar in nine dollars is worth all of them. Speaking of uh, Game Pass, Mortal Shell, I think, launched, uh, got added to Game Pass like yesterday or today. What is that? That is a uh, kind of a Souls-like game. Uh, you're kind of a knight walking around killing medieval monsters. You can't hmm. do that. Tryhard fan says, Rise and Rome needs to patch. He agrees with uh, your earlier statement, Everborn. Rise uh, does, co-op is a lot of fun. I, you know, I want, I sometimes I wish because that first two years of the um, Xbox One generation, there were a lot of games coming out. And I just feel like because that, uh, you know, there was so much else going on with that launch that a lot of those games didn't get the uh, appreciation they otherwise would. I feel like they should pull a Nintendo and re release some of these games like uh, Quantum Break and, and Rise. Hell the same way. No. Yes, they should. <laughs> Quantum Break? Quantum Break? No, no. Yeah. Look, I'm just saying, look Quantum how Quantum. well some of those games that were on the Wii U, they and they didn't sell at all, and then they re released nobody them at bought full a price on this. Well, nobody bought. Well, people did buy uh, uh, Xbox One, but still, how I think dare you, you insinuate <laughs> nobody bought an Xbox One? No, 50 million people bought it, but I'm just saying, I feel like in today's climate where everybody's a lot more. Um, high on xbox you re-release those mm -hmm. i think they nah. do a lot better right now yeah nah, or just, or just patch them i mean why do you think developers are patching these not showdown is getting a patch right like these developers are putting that xs badge on things because it increases sales they saw it with the one x they're seeing it with the new gen consoles um just release a patch for rise or quantum break if you really have to yeah they yeah. don't need to they don't need to re-release games and have people buy it twice just patch it yeah, which yeah. is what they already do, right? They just If they have an yeah. upgrade, they just patch it. The news carries uh, forth a lot of hype. And then people playing it on the friends list again is a version of free advertising, right? Some mini Game Pass effect. And uh, I like turtles. But, hey, we've been doing we're sitting here talking about dumb shit for a minute, guys. Thanks for listening to us. Do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you haven't. Got to say it one more time. Shout out to everybody in the Super Chat. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I'm going to give a few shout outs. Uh, but, uh, again, uh, cap it off with Lord Starkiller, who does say, uh, yeah, the... <laughs> the trash known as the GTA trilogy needs fixing. <laughs> he was going ham with that last week. Shout yeah. out to Lord Starkiller again. And also shout out to all the moderators, Boss, My Lethal Pava, everybody else who showed up. Uh, Try Hard Fan, shout out to you, brother. We've also got, um, who is that? Uh, Cuban Death Rider. I, I think I got that right. Interesting name. Uh, you know, also to Lord Starkiller's point, mm -hmm. I think there are better versions of uh, GTA on Roblox than what they put out with that definitive edition, man. It's bad. <laughs> shout out to Clay Mud. Shout out to um, Bud the Cyborg. Shout out to you, brother. He's been in the chat for a long time, only on Xbox. Paul S Simon, uh, related to Ben Simmons. And we've also got Splendiferous. Shout out to you. Philly Eagle. Shout out to you, brother. The Jayhawk. Uh, do appreciate it, man. Fatal Dragon 69. Wonder why you chose that that number. And then we've also got X13 Fireblade. That is a very intense name, sir. I uh, do appreciate it. Everybody here, you guys are awesome. We're going to do some outros. Uh, be sure to support everybody here. Check them out. Uh, and shout out to over 1,200 people hitting us up tonight. Uh, even though, you know, there's so much stuff out there to do and play right now. So we do appreciate you guys keeping the show going. Keeping it, keeping it running, keeping it alive. Deep batch. What have you been playing, brother? It. Am what? he already did his outro? Did Remember? he? That's right. He yeah. fucking bailed early. That's not like deep batch. No, I'm still here, man. I just, I just did the outro. So did outro. Well, we'll do it again. Do Where have you been playing? And where you been? Where, where can people find you? You can find you can find me on Twitter, of course, at the underscore batch on on YouTube at, at D batch. I'm playing uh, Forza. I'm playing Halo. I played a little bit of Battlefield. Battlefield. Afterwards, Battle <laughs> Battlefield is a lot of fun. Um, I don't think it's as fun as Halo. It's I don't know. Halo just gives me a different feeling. But Battlefield is still fun, and I think it reflects on the player counts because most people are playing Halo right now. It's just a fun game. It's like if we've been waiting for Halo to be great again, and it's great again, and it's a good time to be a Halo player. And I'm enjoying the heck out of that game. And I will be getting off here and going to play that game right after the show. So I'll see you guys next week. 
Well, do appreciate it, brother. Uh, we've also got Fonzarelli. Brother, where can people find you, and what have you been playing? Yeah, you can find me at Fonzarelli Gaming right here on YouTube. Also, um, I've been playing uh, Mad Max. Uh, I went back and started playing that. Apparently, it's 120 FPS. Didn't know that, but uh, I knew it was at least 60 because it feels really it's good. It's nice. Um, great game. Still holds up. Even at 1080p, it looks it looks decent. Um yeah, it looks better than that Batman Arkham Knight for <laughs> sure. Uh, that man, I, I seriously just want to play that game so bad, but it's just it looks so bad. Anyway, other than that, you know, I was looking at the Xbox Museum thing for my, you know, my old profile and stuff that now my kids just use, and they ruined it because the most played game now is Roblox, thanks to my kids. We know um, that's but you, yeah. Fans. Under that's a underneath fucking lie. That, Underneath that, it said stuff about like Unknown Shooter was one of my most played games. I don't know what Unknown Shooter. I don't recall like, that one. No, is there something that just dropped that you know they they don't have info for? Because I played a lot of shooters back in the day, but it just says unknown. That's weird. Anyway, um, yeah. So you can find me at Fonzarelli Gaming um, and all that stuff. Oh, and of course on my new profile and Fonzarelli, uh, the most played game was Destiny Two. So big shot. Trash. Man. Anyways, yeah, I, I'm past that, man. I'm past Destiny now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud I'm of you, man. Meetings for that. Uh, you know, it's like uh, you just I, walked I, out of a rehab, well. like in California, called Great Hopes or New Beginnings, and you're free yeah, of Destiny I to, too. Man. I had to step away from the crack. And it's <laughs> Destiny no is a anyway. toxic as you were, relationship. As you were walking, as you were walking out, Dealer was walking in with 2K in his hand. <laughs> I'll be out in a year, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be out in a year, guys. Fuck. Uh, uh, Cuban Death Rider in the chest says, "Fawns don't lie." Yeah, he, he's probably thinking I'm playing Roblox on there. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm playing Roblox every night on my other account. You know, Roblox secretly. is just a collection of games that people steal from other games, Weird. music and YouTube music, and yeah, they like make versions of other games and just make it blocky and stuff. That's why. I said that and the thing kids about are GTA. like, they have right. games like that. They have games like that. It's it's weird. I I watch my kids play. And I'm like, why? You're like, anyway. why didn't you give me the achievement from you know the fucking second level? And the thing is, is I just can't let that account die. I love that old username I had, Burt Reynolds. I, I'm <laughs> you know keeping it for life. Um, you know, it, no it, ones and X's after it. You know, it's, it's the original Burt Reynolds. Nice. Yeah, so you know that nice. account's probably worth money, right? No, no. Now that would be illegal, but you know, I'm just saying. That's but, the one time I stumbled it, into Dale, just Dale Fonz. It was a very special moment. Yeah, it's it's weird, you know, especially when, you know, you talk to Phil Spencer one night and you tell him that, you know, your account is Burt Reynolds. He goes, how'd you get that? That's, that's you know, <laughs> I, well, Xbox, you know, I was one of the original Xbox Live uh, beta testers. So, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, had it for a long time. Uh, I mentioned this maybe I'll last year or one die. before that, but I got a clip of me and Phil playing Horizon 5. It's like the world's fastest game of oh, capture really? the flag i'm gonna i'm gonna share it on twitter eventually but yeah that, he we beat them in like I don't know, 10 seconds yeah i try to invite him he, he doesn't come to my party so he Phil, said he said just because now, you didn't drop the cyberpunk review your presence i'd like to play a game with you and uh <laughs> talk with you a bit he said Let's that he's not joining time. none of your party requests until you build that cyberpunk review phil swiped left on you bitch <laughs> yeah he did he did he swiped block <laughs> block <laughs> But a uh, big shout out to, uh, to to Fonz, man. Fantastic panel member. Been here forever. And uh, check his stuff out for sure. Too long. He, if you can't find too long. If you can't find him, he's in my Twitter post about the show. Check it out. Click on him there. Uh, Zalker, how you been, brother? What have you been playing? Where can we find you? Yay! Uh, you guys can find me on uh, Twitter, Zalker87, YouTube, Zalker87. We missed Tim Donk. Uh, yeah, and I've been playing Guardians of the Galaxy. Beat it today. It was. Freaking amazing, probably game of the year. Um, I've been playing Forza again, and then I've been playing a shit ton of like Halo ranked, like with buddies and stuff. So that's a lot of fun. And uh, I jumped into Shadow of War on the Series X, and it is 30 frames, and I almost had a seizure. <laughs> I literally was like, I thought it was optimized, and I was like, oh, can't wait. Jumped it in, and I was like, ah! for <laughs> yeah, for 40 30, and I'm like, or 4K 30. I was like, ugh. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of hurt. I was like, no. Um, it's hard so to I'll go back. Into something else. It is. It's, it, I can't. I can't. Fun game it. though. Guzzlug, the fucking yeah. half dead orc is in there. Yeah, I beat the first one. Almost got like I think I almost got like a thousand on it. A thousand achievements. Like I loved it so much, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna play the second one to really get into it. I always like. There's always something that came up, so I'm gonna jump into that probably or um, Dragon Age Inquisition because that got 60 FPS boost on uh, Series X. So. But you had to beat the shit out of somebody for 10 seconds for him to die. 
I remember liking that game a lot. And then I just want to go. I don't know, man. I'm just craving like a fantasy, like a big RPG fantasy. Like that's all. So I'm just trying to look for that and play that because I miss Elder oh, Scrolls. You're coming next shit. year, buddy. Well, I'm saying like a fantasy RPG, not like Starfield. I want like something. Oh with yeah, like uh, Avowed will be probably 2023. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like stuff like that. Like I'm just. I don't know why. I just feel like one of those games. So yeah, me that's too. Me. But yeah, chat. Thank you guys for being here. Hope everybody has a great holiday at Thanksgiving. You know, enjoy your family and. Take a break. Um, I won't be releasing videos actually this week on what? Wednesday or Friday. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just taking a taking Holy the week, man. Holy shit, <laughs> bro! Work. Oh, is so, don't blame video. work, bitch. Yeah, I heard the. I heard the what? No, I'm just, dude. I'm fucking exhausted. I can't believe it. Like this, this is like a first, right? This right? motherfucker I had to literally had surgery one day and still released a video. <laughs> I think this is a bigger topic than any topic we had tonight. Yeah, make a video about how you're not making videos. That'll blow so, people's minds. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, uh, so last year I had surgery chat and dealer called me while I was in the hospital and then he laughed because I pre-recorded my video and he's like, hey, you're not going to have a video out Monday and I'm in the hospital bed. I'm like, actually, bitch, it's already done. <laughs> and we laughed for like five minutes while I was in the hospital, uh, like holding my side laughing because uh, he was like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> God, it was like but, rain, sleet or surgery. This motherfucker has a video out. Yep. With a backwards Xbox did. Series X on it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, big What's shout out to uh, shut up, Fonz. Big shout out to Zauker, uh, longtime panel member. Uh, check his stuff out. No videos this week. It's a big, big occasion, man. I might resubscribe. I hate you. Trash. Right, right. When I put out one on Monday, I lose one person. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck this guy. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have videos after the 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 whole Thanksgiving thing so that'll be yeah yeah that'll be fun to get back into all that but uh, everyone's talking brother thanks for joining us man uh, Anytime, thanks for, thank you for having me for apparently you know being a big fan of the show and stuff we I appreciate it uh, it's always nice to have new people on the show as well get people from the community on the show I've been doing that a lot here lately and uh, let us know what you've been playing brother and where people find you well I've been playing a lot of uh, Sonic Generations I've been playing Streets of Rage four and I'm getting ready to start. I don't know if you guys remember Rocket Knight Adventure from the uh, the Genesis, but uh, there was apparently a remake in 2011 that I never knew about, and so I just downloaded that because it was the uh, Games with Gold uh, game of the month uh, for last month. So I'm going to go and play that. But in between that, I'm trying to finish Guardians of the Galaxy and uh, getting some uh, bot matches in Halo. Um, and and where I can force it, it's just too many games. I'm playing a whole bunch of no games. So uh, exciting times. And then the gunk is coming out in Halo campaign. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. But uh, as far as where people can find me, I am Everborn Saga everywhere. That's Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. I'm usually on Twitter. I try to follow everyone who follows me. But most importantly, you can check out uh, EverbornSaga.com, where you can get the uh, comic books that we do. We do. I do a whole series. I'm making my own kind of version of your the trip MCU. to the grocery store. It's yeah, a yeah, comic yeah. book. Yeah. What are yeah, they about? It's, it's, um, it's kind of like uh, epic fantasy mixed with uh, anime and manga. So it is this whole thing with like um, magic users versus non-magic users. It's really fun. It's four series, uh, but one story. So each series tells the story from that character's uh, perspective. So we, we've launched our first two series, Ariel's Adventure and Prince of Arcadia. Ariel's Adventure is more of a shonen style manga. Prince of Arcadia is kind of like a Game of Thrones um, plots, politics, and war. And we actually have Dragons a Kickstarter going on. Yeah, yeah. All that. Muggles. <laughs> Muggles, yep. bitch. Yep. And uh, we have, a, we have a, uh, yeah. uh, a Kickstarter going on right now, which I'll, I'll just put the link in the chat. Um, but it is uh, for the third series called The Redlands. And this is the third of four series. And we're going to be launching the fourth series alongside with a proper novel written by me um in in march so uh there's also a game but that's coming later on that'll also be uh coded by me and i got uh one of the artists the animators that worked on uh shantae half genie hero if you know what that is it's helping me put that i'm working on a randall thor simulator game can you help me with that (laughs) well speaking of randall thor he has a love affair with wheel of time and fart (laughs) (laughs) And uh, he is going to come on our show on Thursday because we do 
uh, show every Thursday called On the Real, mm-hmm. where we kind of review a specific TV show or a movie. He'll be he'll be every, very talkative there with that time, new huh? with that new Wheel of Time Man, show. With, yeah, yeah, the show's terrible, absolutely. Oh terrible. shit! But, <laughs> that's what I've heard. But the book, the, the books are trash. great. Show hot garbage. It's like. The CW. It's like oh, I, I don't even want to get into it. it. <laughs> if I keep talking about it, Rand won't come, so I won't. I won't. Back Big shout out to Rand. Big shout out to Rand. Friends of the show. Uh, and then Saturdays, I do the Gaming Circle podcast with uh, uh, K Asante. He's on on YouTube. We do that one on his channel. Um, and on Mondays, I'm with Boom. Everybody knows Boom. Everybody loves Boom. I'm on there with uh, Mag and uh, Cyber Knox. Um, and Boom on on uh, Primetime Gaming Mondays at eight. Shout but, out to yeah. all those guys, man, and thanks for joining us. And um, yeah, the little guys, the little guys, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to Boom and and Cybernox. I know Cybernox. Uh, I've talked to him multiple times. Mags, I've talked to him a few times. Uh, you guys are, are definitely putting on a show every single day. It's something that, you know is consistent. People can go over there and check out and see what the newest stuff that's happening is. And uh, again, you know, if you haven't already, guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, we do this once a week. We try to uh, kind of put all the news out there and kind of our perspective as, you know, Xbox guys, uh, all the topics, all that stuff from both sides of the coin because it takes two, right? Which is a game uh, that I Bond should beat. I put my perspective beat. out there as a pony fraud. That's true. Continue. Facts is it. I thought it was a great cap off that you just said. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a great. No, you were talking about it takes two. Yeah, I, I actually got you to download that. God, fuck, was that hard. But yeah, you did. I got it downloaded. You got it downloaded. We're going to go through some of that. That's a start. Uh, and, uh, yeah, chat, let us know your thoughts. Hit the like button. Tell everybody to subscribe, all that good stuff. I've been playing Horizon 5, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Uh, I beat Guardians of the Galaxy. I've beaten Halo Infinite. I uh, released a preview video on Infinite with some of the details from the campaign. Uh, Microsoft, you know, they tell you what you can and can't kind of give details about spoilers and all that good stuff. So check that video out. Put some good time into that. Obviously, uh, we do appreciate you. Uh, follow me at II Space Dealer Space II on Xbox Live, where if you watch my preview video, you know why you can't see that I played Halo Infinite. Obviously, at Dealer underscore Gaming for those on Twitter. And yeah, if you want to download my 2020 Shelby GT500, that is on the store. Go in like you're going to tune your setup, tire pressure, et cetera. Hit the start button. And then search for creators or, or whatever description RDX, it should pop right up. And uh, Lethal can attest that thing's a monster. It's a lot of fun Taylor! to drive. And that's Colt Eastwood on the soundboard. So, yeah, guys, we are out. Thanks for joining us. Have fun. Enjoy the holidays. Enjoy your gaming. And everyone catching the rerun, we do appreciate you. Thank you. We are out. Peace. Enjoy thank your you, gaming. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Who are you gaming, Lethal? Enjoy.